And we're back out here at Heritage Village in Largo, Florida, and we're gonna go into the outside now. What they've done here is they've created a city, if you will. They purchased a lot of old buildings from around the county, and they brought them out here, restored them a little bit, and a lot of them you can go through. They, they've got a general store out here, a fire station, I leave anything out? School. Schoolhouse. So we're just gonna NHL. kinda putz around through here. Oh, I thought you said NHL. Don't they usually have signs on these telling them where they came from? If I had to guess, that would be this, this came out of like Safety Harbor or something. I'm not sure what this building here is. It's closed right now for restoration. I think this might have been an old schoolhouse. I'm not really sure. I think it's amazing with these old old homes here. Is um, you know, we get hurricanes here once in a while, and uh, these things just hold up, they never blow away. So let's uh. Say something for old work, old rule of craftsmanship, right? Then go over here. Catch up with the father figure here. Just catch him getting ahead of me. <clears throat> They've got um Areas out here where you can, uh, you know, bring your lunch. Go in here, relax a little bit. I think this looks like the old schoolhouse. Oh, this is the church. This is the church. Not sure how old this building is. I, have, uh, I think they actually still do have um, 
services in here from time to time. Oh, this is something for kids. Yeah, looks like they have little sing-alongs for kids. I'm going to take up the collection. <clears throat> you can get a whole lot from here. There's nobody here, so. <laughs> well, this is an old schoolhouse, uh, excuse me, church from, I'm not sure what the uh, year is. Maybe there's a sign on the outside. Got some uh, overly religious, Hallelujah. some overly religious person in the back row. <laughs> here's an old, uh, here's the old church piano or organ, most likely. This is the church. You can see the rope here. It goes up or down, up, and it goes through the ceiling. And that's for the bell up top. And I'm not going to pull on it. See if I can ring it. Yeah, I probably could. I'm not going to do it. It might like a stumble break, but. So this is the this is the church. Let's see if we can. I'm gonna walk outside here. Let's see if we can find a date on here. Did you get saved while you were in there? No, I'm beyond help. <laughs> you wanna go to the gable? I was, I was gonna ring the bell. Mm -hmm. Is that big rope by the door for the bell? There you go. So they've relocated these buildings from uh, different areas throughout the the county or different cities whatnot and I think a couple of these buildings they actually brought in they had to float them down the intercoastal yep. to bring them here and uh, what's amazing is I was saying that a lot of these buildings that have been here for years even when we get hit with hurricanes they stay they never get uh, destroyed which is a lot to be said for old world craftsmanship. This uh, park here, they've got you know these, nice, these nice brick. Uh, half of my house. Well, I'm so today. <laughs> it was really dirty. Nice uh, brick paved uh, things out here. So if you have to bring a stroller or something out here, if you have kids. and This is the Gable House. I don't know if this one's going to be open or not. This would be, I'd love to have a house like this nowadays. This is a new one. I never, I never put in there. Yeah, that's the gable house, the yellow one over there. Let's go inside and see what this is. There's no uh, marker on this. We don't know what this is. Well, the other eye be kind of the same thing. It would look like they were flat. Okay, in order to see, you know, and then so then your eyes would see something different. So this eye, this eye is looking at this picture, and this eye is looking at this picture. When you get the two slide together, that's how you see that. So when it works, it works the same way as the three the three So this is the dining room here. Kitchen. The ice box. Is that the refrigerator? Yep, that's the ice ice box. Oh, that's right. They put the big blocks of ice in there. And yep. You didn't have a lot of storage in there, did you? Nice 
Yeah, I know. Thank you very much for coming. But that one day is Hebron and the pool of David in Palestine. So that's from the that's from the Holy One. Oh, when you were holding it over here, it looked like an old baseball field. Okay. Hi. Oh, was that kind of what you mean, meant about this? We're going to venture up the stairs here. Very narrow stairs. Not quite sure what the round thing on the floor is there. You want to know what that round thing on the floor is there by the end of the chair there? Is that to roll your feet on or something? Foot warmer. Hmm. No, no toilet in the south. They had outhouses. There's, there's no, there's no, they have outhouses. Very small bathroom. This was up. This was an upper class home. Had a fireplace in the bedroom. Probably back in the day, yeah. Over here. This is an upper class house. Julia Williams Summer. Huh? Julia Williams Summer is the name on the wall over here. I don't know. Had a fireplace in this room too. That's the only heat they had. Looks like they had kids here. There's an old, what do we call our kids? <laughs> Even a kid had a fireplace. Well, you know, whose, you know whose house this was? It was Henry B. Plant's house. Oh, he had money, yeah. Huh? He had money. That was smart. Henry B. Plant House. What did Henry B. Plant do again? Huh? What did Henry B. Plant do? He built the railroads on the west coast of Florida. Wasn't he, he was involved in the steel industry, right, too, wasn't he? Huh? The steel industry, too? Steel. He was a railroad guy. Oh, okay. All right. He, this, had a big, he had a big spa in Tampa. But on the University of Tampa campus, the Henry B. Plant Museum. This is the Gable House. This house has been here a long time in this park. This is one of the oldest ones in here. With a big, nice, huge porch on the outside, wraps around the whole house.
dwarf's box so far to get that. And actually, there's going to be a tour here. There's going to be a tour in this of this house here in a couple of minutes. So we'll uh, kind of hang out here for a few minutes and wait for the tour. Obviously, the. Uh, carrier air conditioner there that didn't exist back then. <laughs> All right, well, let's conclude this right now. We're gonna go on the tour of this, uh, this building here in a minute, and then we're gonna go on the other side of the park where we have the firehouse and uh, general oh. store and things like that. So we'll see you in there. You want, you want to go in the house, Bob? The, the guide is here.